Would you take this? I will not. You guys need to be down there and quit lying to people that are worshiping God. How are you lying, sir? Sir, we love you. That's why you're going to give an account on the day of judgment when you stand before Christ. That, why didn't you stand up for your preborn neighbors? When I go out to the abortion mill, the murder mill, why do I see more Catholics than Christians out there? Why is that? Unbelievers care more. Can I give you something? How are you guys? Howdy. Just out here to raise some awareness and uh, uh, provoke one another to love and good works is what the Bible says. So provoke you guys to come out and, uh, and take part. Uh, cry out for your neighbors. Yes. You guys know that some of your pre-born neighbors are being murdered just like a mile and a half down the street here. Really? Yeah, on 4444 South Florida Avenue. So, uh, you know, Proverbs 24 and 11, I think it says in there, actually says that uh, we should uh, rescue those that are being led to the slaughter, those that are being taken away to death says that if we say that we did not know these things, does not he that knoweth the heart, uh, does he not know, uh, that pondereth the heart, does he not know? So we can't say that we don't know because God knows our hearts. Yeah. So, uh, you know, we'll, we'll give account on, you know, before the judgment seat of Christ. So that's why we, uh, we don't want you guys to have that blood on your hands one day. We want to cry out to you guys, come on out there with us. We're out there Wednesday mornings, 8th to noon. Friday afternoons, uh, crying out for our, our neighbors, these little pre-born neighbors, and uh, loving them, as Jesus said, to love your neighbors as yourself. So, so God bless you guys. Why won't the Christians love me? 700 churches in Lakeland, I believe. And yet, hardly any of them, hardly any of them will come out love their neighbor as themselves because they're so full of excuses. Just like Nazi Germany. The so-called Christians knew that babies were being, that Jews were being murdered, but they, didn't, they did not lift a finger. At least in Nazi Germany, they had an excuse. If I speak against Hitler and the final solution, I'll be killed. In America, you can speak up for your pre-born neighbors, little babies in the womb. Constitution protects your ability to do it, but we still refuse to do it. Incoming. What's that? Let's see if I can. Here's one on coming in behind you, brother. Can I give you one, sir? Little babies are being mass murdered. God here Maybe he's going to get one on the way out, huh? I will pray tonight. If you're ignoring mass murder, the answer is no. Not a single prayer was answered. Ma'am, can I give you one? God does not hear the prayers of those who ignore justice, who ignore mercy, those who turn the blind eye to the greatest injustice happening on their watch. Please know that. You can't say you didn't know. That's why we're here. Partly why we're here. So that you cannot say, I did not know that babies were being mass murdered on my watch. Yes, you do. Five minutes down the road, sir. Five folks, you will give an account on the day of judgment, folks. Deaf ear. The Bible says that faith without works is dead. Woo! So if you're saying, I pray for the babies being butchered, but I won't lift a finger to help them, what good does that do to the babies? Woo! Hey, I'm pro life. I'm hey, man. Hey, man. I'm not going to lift a finger to rescue babies. Man. A lot of good it does the baby being butchered. Choose life. There's that choose life again. A lot of good it does the babies who are being mass, mass murdered, having their heads ripped off, cut off their bodies. A lot of good your pro life position does them. You say we're pro life. Why are you here? Again, because you're not at the murder mill. But also, 
Let me, let me explain to you, we're not pro-life, we're abolitionists. You ask, what's the difference? In a nutshell, the pro-life movement is keeping abortion legal. The pro-life leaders, pro-life politicians, pro-life groups, they're keeping abortion legal. Damn. If you would like to know how that's possible, come talk to me, I'll tell you. As abolitionists, we believe what the Bible says. We want to abolish abortion, not regulate it. Sure. I give you one of these folks. They're killing babies just five minutes down the street, sir. Just five minutes down the street. We're here to provoke you to love and good works, friend. It's your Christian duty, sir, is to love your neighbors yourself. What about your little neighbors in the womb, sir? Down at the abortion center well I'm, I'm there every Wednesday sir and I'm not even from Lakeland these are this is your neighborhood they're killing well, babies five minutes down the street down there plenty. We also sir I'm down there every week where are you guys I never see y'all down there well we've been down there plenty well why'd you stop why you why have you stopped because we're they're still killing babies I know it and we well would you would you take this I will not you guys need to be down there and quit lying to people that are worshiping God. How are you lying, sir? Sir, we love you. That's why you're going to give an account on the day of judgment when you stand before Christ. That, why didn't you stand up for your preborn neighbors? And you are condemning their babies. The righteous to death. The folks just saying no. I'm only raising my voice so you can hear me. I'm not doing this to yell at you. I'm doing it so you can hear me. Feel free to come talk to me. I won't have to raise my voice anymore. But I have to raise my voice because babies are being mass murdered. And the churches in Lakeland are silent. The churches in Lakeland are totally silent and apathetic. It takes Christians and families from outside of Lakeland to love these children because the local churches refuse to love them. 50 years of baby murder. I encourage you folks, if you did not get any literature, check out AbolishAbortionFlorida.com AbolishAbortionFlorida.com to see what can I do to abolish the murder of babies? What can I do to abolish child sacrifice? There's a lot you can do. Does anybody care? One day we will all stand before Him And give account of all that we've done On that day He will say to the faithful Enter in to the joy of your Lord For the Lord delights in the death of His servants We will see Him arise With healing in His wings With arms open wide And all heaven rejoicing Surrounded by His love will 